everyone welcome back to another video i hope you guys have all been doing well um, as we all know this is heart to heart where we discuss all things health healing and well-being and today obviously we're back again together mm -hmm. and we're going to be discussing a very interesting and a very important topic that i think is not often um discussed because i guess it's a bit of a tough one and mm. it's something that we have to really we're meant to be practicing every day but we don't always yeah. so yeah um do you want to introduce the topic yeah okay I'm so actually guys today ben's going to be asking the questions um so it's going to be a good one introduce mm. the topic. so the topic for today guys is forgiveness and basically forgiving um, it's a very interesting topic because mm. it's a topic that um, I guess we've all been through. I'm sure we have all been through this um, circumstance where we've either had to forgive mm. someone or we had we have needed to be forgiven for something that we have done ourselves. Mm. And I think that it is something that is not always easy to do, especially when you know that like maybe you've caused an offense mm. and you think, nah, I haven't done anything wrong. Why am I forgiving? Mm. And you don't want to forgive. So then you're like, nah, I'm not doing it. Um, but also on the other hand, where someone's really wronged you and you're really upset about it, but yet they see it as, no, I haven't done anything wrong. So why should I forgive? And you're just here like, well, I'm waiting for my forgiveness. Mm. Um, so yeah, so I thought it would be a really, well, Ben thought as well as I did. The topic was really dropped in both our minds. Mm. So we're very, yeah, kind of like eager to really talk about it. Um, so yeah, forgiveness, I'll hand it over to you. Um, um, and yeah, you can go ahead and ask the questions. Yeah, forgiveness is basically um, it's a hard one because everyone goes through it, and sometimes it gets to an area that it affects the person that is going through the issue than the person that actually committed the crime. Mm. You know, the person that committed the crime don't know how you're feeling or anything, yeah. but you're being hurt on the inside yeah. because you don't want to forgive. Yeah. So it's just something that we all need to learn to get get through it and learn to forgive in a way so then you know i don't want to get too deep into it so we'll ask the question and then we'll go yeah. so first question so, yeah. what, what is, is forgiveness yeah. um according to the definition here forgiveness mm. is to stop feeling angry or resentful towards someone mm. for an offense a flaw or a mistake mm. so basically to stop feeling angry or upset about something or resentful towards someone because of something that they've done Mm -hmm. That is, yeah. forgive. to forgive, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. so why, uh, why do we forgive? Yeah, why do we forgive? So, to be honest, um, based on <laughs> some previous experiences that have happened not too long ago, mm. I've learned that um, we forgive, to be honest, not only for the other person, but mainly for you, first of all. Mm. I think that um, it's such a, it's such a, Sometimes, even when you feel like you are the one that is being wronged and you're waiting for your forgiveness, mm. you still have to go ahead and forgive that person for feeling angry and being resentful for your own benefit. Mm. So I think one of the main reasons as to why we actually do forgive is because there's actually a verse that says, um, forgive so that your heavenly father will also forgive you. Mm. So the Bible brings it right back to us. Mm. We forgive because we need our Heavenly Father to forgive us. Mm. If we don't forgive, He's not going to forgive us. And that is like, that is the, that's what the Word says, and the Word is final. Mm. You know, the Word says, forgive so that you may be forgiven. Mm. You know, and I think that's one of the main reasons why we should forgive. Because if we don't forgive, mm. you know, we're going to lose our, when, when we need mercy, when we need that grace mm. from God, we're not going to be able to get that. So I think that's, that should be one of the main reasons as to why we decide to forgive in the first place. Mm. But not only that, I think there are a lot of other reasons as well. First of all, when you harbor anger, resentment, to be honest, obviously when you're in a state of your, uh, basically a state of unforgiveness, mm. you're going to be hating on the person. You're mm. going to be, you don't want to see the person. You're mm. not interested in, in anything that to do with the person, basically. Mm. So really, you harbor all of those emotions and... That's not even healthy for you. That doesn't even help you. You're trying to go on with your day, live your best life. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that because you're harboring unforgiveness. So one of the other reasons why we have to forgive is because you don't want to be living in that state of low mood all the time and you're just annoyed and upset and angry. You don't need that in your life. Like you're inviting mm -hmm. other 
other unnecessary, you know, um, emotions and feelings to be, you know, now coming into your life that are not really meant to be there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the other reasons why I think it's very important that we forgive mm -hmm. so that you can live in peace with the person and, you know, with everyone around you. So, Definitely. yeah. Um, you touched on the thing at the end, like mm -hmm. uh, with the envy and angry yeah. and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, if you don't learn to forgive, mm -hmm. all of that builds within you and it affects everyone around you. Yeah. You tend to take everything to heart. Mm -hmm. You tend to, um, you know how, for men, things build up and then they explode at the yeah. end. Yeah. But if you don't learn to forgive, even though something happened to someone else and you didn't forgive them, yeah. someone else might do something that doesn't relate to that, yeah. but because of what you haven't forgiven, mm. it kind of tend to build up that you start treating everyone the same way. Yeah. And for me, like, why we have to forgive? Mm -hmm. I feel like forgiveness has nothing to do with the other person. Forgiveness has everything to do with you. Yeah. All the other person, if we're looking towards the other person, mm -hmm. all they can do is apologize. Yeah. They have nothing to do with forgiveness. Yeah. They don't have to forgive you or anything because you're the one that has a you're the one that has that grudge, hatred yeah. or that grudge within yeah. you. Yeah. So you have to forgive them in order for you to be free. Yeah. Not for them. Most of the time, like most of the scenarios that I've seen is the other person doesn't even know what they've done yeah. wrong or yeah. doesn't even think they've done anything yeah. wrong. Or when you have, like for example, people hold it to their heart so hard mm -hmm. that they don't open up. Sometimes when you go and talk to the person about it, they're more than even happy to be like, oh, sorry, I didn't yeah. mean it like that. Yeah. And when they explain it, boom, forgiveness is already taken. Why do they not want to talk about it? No, but my point is like, yeah. if you don't go, you're the one that has the issue on yeah. the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know what the issue is. Yeah. So if you don't go and be like, oh, this is how I feel, mm -hmm. this goes into the next question, but yeah. this is how I feel, this yeah. and that. You will never know that they actually did that or this and that. And when they apologize, it will make it so much easier for you to be like, oh, okay, I forgive you. Yeah. You know? So forgiveness is everything to do with you, yeah. not mainly the other 100%. Person. It's really, it really points back at you. Yeah. And for your peace. Yeah. For your rest. Kind because of a lot of the time, people are waiting for apology from the other person. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm going to forgive. Even though they don't apologize, the forgiveness is for me. I want to be free. I'm going to forgive. And like I say, a lot of the time, the people don't even know what they did wrong or they don't even assume they've done anything wrong. Mm. So they don't see a reason to apologize. Yeah. But if someone brings it up and be like, oh, this is what happened, this yeah. is how this person feels. Yeah. If they're mature enough, they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. And then forgiveness takes place. But a lot of the time, they don't know. So you, you that is trying to forgive, you need to step up and be like, oh, I forgive you because of this and this. Mm. So now that that kind of head into the next question. Yeah. How do we forgive? Mm, okay, so I think to answer that question, I feel like we have to go back to the definition. Mm -hmm. So obviously the definition says that when um, you you forgive, you stop being angry and resentful at the person mm. um, for whatever offense or flaw or mistake they made. Mm -hmm. So how do we forgive? How do you do that? Obviously, yeah. mm -hmm. you can't just be like, I'm just gonna stop being angry. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stop. Um, like being resentful, I'm going to stop holding a grudge. You can mm -hmm. tell yourself that, oh yes, I have to stop, I have to stop. But in situations where you're still waiting for the person to apologize, yeah. or you're waiting for the person to see what they've done, mm -hmm. and they're not going to see it, they don't mm -hmm. even want to see it, mm -hmm. you're just going to be there suffering, you, you know? You're going to be suffering, there suffering, literally, yeah. Holding your grudge, being resentful, mm -hmm. being angry. Like, how is that going to help you, you know? So basically, in those situations, how do we forgive now? I learned something in um, you know recently, and something that came up to me was be thankful. Mm. That's it. Just be thankful. Mm. Um, begin to think about all the things that you have in your life that mm -hmm. you can be grateful for, that you can really like um, see see the hand of God in. Mm. And I'm telling you guys, when I started doing that, I started saying, you know what, God, thank you for my beautiful family. Mm. Thank you for my house that you allowed us to live in. Mm -hmm. Thank you that, you know, I am well, mm -hmm. I am fed every day. Thank you for the basic necessities that I have. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the extra things that I do have. Thank you for my job. Thank you, for God, I have so much to be grateful for, to be thankful for, mm -hmm. than for me to be holding grudges and worrying about little situations like this that mm -hmm. literally mean nothing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I think the, that, that shifted my mindset to mm -hmm. Just be thankful because there's actually a verse um, in, I think it was Philippians or Ephesians or something, uh, inserted, but it says, you know, 
um, be thankful in all circumstances mm. for it is the will of God for your life, basically. Mm. Everything that we face in our life is the will of God for us. And especially if we've been praying, Lord God, let your will be done now. Look, everything that's going to happen is mm. God's will for your life. <clears throat> so it's like, just be thankful because mm. maybe it's a test for you. Mm. It's something for you to learn a lesson from. Mm. And it's something for you to take and be like, okay, you know what? I got this out of this. Let's move on with our lives. Because one thing about me, Mm. I'm not going to sit in something and be dwelling in that for ages and ages and ages as if this is my life. This is not my life. Like I'm trying to live my best life. I mm. want to enjoy myself. I want to be happy. I want to have fun. I can't be living in anger and holding grudges and resent all the time because I don't have the energy for that. That's also energy even. That's negative energy mm. being exerted out of me mm. as if as if like that's not, that's not my portion. I'm sorry. I don't want to be in that constant energy, you know? So, so basically back to the question to answer the question number one being thankful mm. being thankful and just being like you know what thank you for everything that i have in my life god and i'm grateful um and then that i don't know that for me that would, that was what did it to be honest that shifted my whole mood and i wasn't really resentful angry anymore and then also when i started to be thankful and i started to pray about the situation i realized that you know i started to receive answers that were like oh so this is why this is happening and this is why this is happening and this is why and basically it led to that now being like, okay, if I'm thankful, God will cause me to see why I went through what I went through. Mm. And then later on, mm. I can forgive easily because I know, mm. you know, yeah, like, actually this is why it happened. And mm. we move, you know, and that's it. So that's how, I feel like that's how now, from now I'm going forward, that's how I'm going to try to handle situations where I have to forgive or mm. I have to be forgiven or whatever. Basically, be thankful, pray about it, and leave it to God. Mm. That's it. Uh, for me, like, there's two scenarios for me mm -hmm. in a way. Like, obviously, 100%, like I was talking about before, mm -hmm. you have to go and talk to the person about it. Mm -hmm. You have to stand up and be like, oh, go to them and be like, oh, okay. well, let me finish. No, but let me ask you a question. Let me finish that. first. Yeah. You go to them, oh, Harry, you wronged me. This is what you did wrong, and this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. But I forgive you for it because of this and this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they actually come up and they're like, oh, it, to make it even easy to forgive them, they'll explain it, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like this, I meant it like this, this and that. And then you can forgive them because then you have expressed what you're going through mm -hmm. and you're showing them that you have forgiven them and then you put it behind. And then scenario two is kind of similar to what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. There's people that don't want to talk about it and they want to be hard-headed and even when you go and tell them, they don't see what they've done wrong and all of that. With that, there's, there's a perfect verse that, um, you know, when Christ was on the cross, mm -hmm. he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Imagine that someone that's going through all that hurt and he knows the pain that he's going through is because of us. And he's praying for us to be forgiven yeah. because we don't know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to look at it from that perspective. If if they take it easy and, and apologize and all of that, everything goes smooth, mm -hmm. yes, all good. And then the other side is they will take it hard and be a hard head and they don't know what they're doing. They don't care about what they're doing. Yeah. You still have to forgive. Yeah. You take that verse yeah. to heart. Father, I forgive them for they don't know what yeah. they are doing. So you take it, because forgiveness is for your own, mm -hmm. uh, your, your own health, mm -hmm. you know? So that's the two way that I look at it. There's the easier way where someone will, you go and talk to them, and everything is solved there, and you forgive them, mm -hmm. and you move on. The second way is you look at it as if they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. They don't know anything. Because you still need to forgive them so you can move on. Yeah. So that's the two way. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, I think that that's. Um, I was just gonna ask you, like, what happens in a situation where mm -hmm. they're not, they're not interested in talking, yeah. or they don't want to deal with the situation, would rather just be um, covering it up under, you know, blankets. Yeah. So, that's why. That's why there's two scenarios. Yeah. There's one way is simpler, mm -hmm. and then there's one way is harder. That's what I said. Yeah. And then second last question mm -hmm. is, um, why is it so hard to forget, even though you're forgiving the person? Well, Why is it so hard to forget, even well, though you're forgiven? I think um, the memory of the actions that are done mm -hmm. is not going to just disappear, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you can't just block out the things that happen, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that even like in our childhood, we've experienced things that 
happened to us a long time ago, mm -hmm. but it becomes like a core memory. It's something that constantly comes back, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that there are times also that they don't want to remind you. Remember when this person mm -hmm. did this to you? Yeah. Remember this, remember that? And I think that is now I think of, no, I've already forgiven that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not about that life anymore. Mm -hmm. And we're moving on, so I don't really care. But I also think that it's a good, like, it's a good reminder. Because sometimes there are people who, let's say, for example, you're in a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And the person has been doing cons like doing things to you constantly that is unforgivable, mm -hmm. and you're just there constantly going back, going back, going back. It gets to a point where it's like, look, you can clearly see this person is not treating you correctly, mm -hmm. but yet you're still going back constantly. I feel like it has to come to a place where you're like, you actually recognize this person is treating me horribly. I need to leave, you know. And once you realize that, it's a good reminder also for you to be like, I, I can't keep going back to this. I can't keep going back to this. That's mm -hmm. one scenario. But at the same time, I feel like, because it becomes a memory in your mind, it's mm -hmm. not something that is stuck there. It's something that has happened to you. And mm -hmm. it was significant. If it wasn't significant, you wouldn't even care. You just forget about it, whatever. I don't mm -hmm. care. But it's significant. It's something that has caused you to, you know, get upset, get angry. So it's like, it's always gonna, it's gonna always touch your heart, you know? It's gonna hurt you a little bit every time you think about it. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to forget. But at the same time, we, we still have to forget. We, we, I don't know. I don't know if, it's, if we're just going to fully forget it. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember that we have already forgiven. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. The same way, um, when Christ came and died for us, he kind of come and be like, oh, I died for you guys. And then you guys keep sinning against me. But I'll always remember your sin. No. Mm -hmm. His word says, he wipes it out away. It's white as snow. Clean now. We, we, it's wiped away clean. Mm -hmm. You know? So really, we're not really meant to remember it. But obviously, our flesh is going to remember it. But I want to just remember, okay, you know what? The forgiveness has happened and that's it. So basically, yeah, my answer is, is it becomes a poor memory. So it's not easy to just, you know, like forget. Mm. Unless the person was irrelevant to you and you didn't even care about the person like that, then it's not that deep. The person is not that close to you. But when the person mm. is close to you, mm. it is different, you mm. know? So, yeah. No, yeah, definitely. For me, it, it comes from a, you quoted the scripture already. Yeah. You know, when Christ forgives us, he yeah. wipes as clean as snow. Yeah. So basically, it's like a clean slate that he's giving you, yeah. like nothing happened before. Yeah. So when you forgive someone, mm -hmm. it's meant to be like that. But we're yeah. not Christ, we're human. Yeah, exactly. So the enemy will always bring that back into your mind. But last time it hit me, like, why do we... Uh, continue to remember yeah. and that scripture of uh, you know you forgive someone 77 times yeah. 7 yeah. times a day yeah. it didn't say for something else yeah. it said a day so that scenario will come in your mind so many times that you have to learn to still forgive them over and over that it, it comes to an area that you understand that agape love mm -hmm. within you uh, where it's like, even though they did this, I still love them. Yeah. Even though this happened, I'm still forgiven. Yeah. Even though this and that, it gets to that area. A lot of times, guys will go through this. You know, someone will wrong you, you forgive them, and then you'll be angry at them. But the more you guys meet up, it, it keeps coming in your mind and you keep forgiving, yeah. that it gets to a stage that you guys joke about it now and you yeah. laugh about it. Yeah, you laugh about it. Yeah. Remember how this happened? Yeah. So that's the area that God wants us to be, that when you forgiven, later on when you hear it, it becomes a joke. It's not something that makes yeah. you angry anymore. Yeah. But in and, a, and that's how it should be yeah. mean, for friendships, you know? In a way, like a lot of the time, when it come up, we take it in a negative way. Mm. In, in my opinion, a lot of the time, it means that you haven't really forgiven the person. Yeah. But if you have forgiven, yes, the memory will come and be like, oh, they did this. Yeah. But then the memory of you forgiving them will still it's come as now. well. Yeah. And then it will continue to play that, that it will get to an area that love will come out yeah. of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I think that is like, it's something that if you guys are good friends and you understand each other, mm -hmm. it shouldn't even be a problem. You should just be like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, she really hurt me with that. Mm. And, you know, like, the other person should see you and be like, oh, did I actually hurt you? I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to hurt you. Mm. Vice versa. Done. Move on. Yeah. You know? It should be like that. And then, yes, it's, we and we all hurt each other sometimes. We say things, we do things that we don't always understand that mm. it might be hurting the other person. Mm. But we have to come to a place where we have to at least be empathetic and see how am I actually affecting the other person. Yeah. Some people don't have that interpersonal skill, that empathy to yeah. understand how am I affecting somebody else. And I think that's something that we should all really be 
learning. You know, interpersonal skills are such a key thing to have in relationships, mm-hmm. you know? Before I ask the last question, there's yeah. something you touched on. Mm-hmm. Like, we always talk about forgiving, forgiving. Mm-hmm. Like, you forgiving someone. Mm-hmm. How do you respond if someone comes to you now mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, you did this to me mm-hmm. and yeah. you hurt me, this and that? Yeah. A lot of the time, a lot of us tend to put up this guy, oh, no, yeah. they do that, blah, blah, yeah. blah. In that sense, to me, you're not there to protect yourself, honor, or anything. That's your friend. Mm-hmm. This is how you made them feel. Apologize first yeah. and make them calm the situation down. Yeah. When they're all good and they forgive you, you have the right now to explain. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, bro, this is what happened, this and that. And not even putting your guard up, even explaining and showing them this is what you meant. Yeah. Instead of saying, no, that's not this and that. And putting your guard up and making them... Cause Forgiveness is out of the picture now because you're putting yourself in the area of, oh, I don't care how you feel. Yeah. This is what I meant and this is what I did. I don't care how I made you feel. Yeah. So a lot of the time we need to, when someone comes from a hurt, you need to pull your guard down and be like, oh, be like, you know, there can't be too fire in the area. One has to be the water. When he come angry, quench that fire yeah. with your water and be like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. I, can you forgive me or what else? Okay. Last question of the day. What's the benefit of forgiving? Okay. So I think um, we've kind of really answered it throughout mm. like throughout the whole video. Mm. And but the number one first thing mm. when we forgive, we are forgiving not only for our own like peace of mind, but also like for just um, complete peace in the whole situation, basically. Mm. Um, because like we said in that verse, I find the verse actually, because I wrote it down before, is in Matthew chapter um, 6 verse 14 to 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Mm-hmm. But if you, don't, if you do not forgive others mm-hmm. their sins, your Father will not forgive you your sins. So yeah, so basically we know that it's mainly for our own benefit. Mm. We need that forgiveness from God. We can't, basically, we can't afford to um, not forgive someone because we need our forgiveness. Mm. We need it. Like, I'm not going to not enter into heaven because of somebody's mm-hmm. grudge, because of somebody's, like, um, you know, uh, like, rudeness or whatever, however they want to act towards me. Mm. I can't come and not enter heaven. I'm so sorry. Like, I need to enter heaven. Mm. So I need to forgive, I need to let go, I need to move on with my life. So it's honestly for my peace of mind, for my benefit, but also for them as well. Mm. They might not know what they're doing and how they might be affecting you as a person. So you need to maybe show them how to forgive, how to be behaving kind of thing. Maybe you need to take them out of something Mm. or, you know, help them come out of something. So really it's you taking that step and being like, no, I'm going to actually choose to follow his word because his word is final at the end of the day. Mm. You know, it says, you know, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word, my word will never pass away. Mm. So whether we like it or not, mm. it's by force. We have to do it. Mm. And also another thing that I just thought about is when we don't forgive, I watched mm. this from a video, um, you know, the devil has legal rights. He can now be like, oh, she carries unforgiveness. She carries anger. She carries... Now... They can come and do whatever they want to do because they yeah. harbor in that kind of, in the unforgiveness, in the anger, in the, that's where they live. Yeah. The spirit, the demonic spirit, they live there. So if you want to be continuing in those, mm. that's not the fruit of the spirit. I'm sorry. Unforgiveness is not the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. So we have to be able to forgive and let go because we need it. It's for our own sake. They also so, bring like uh, birth to other things as well. Because if yeah. you're not forgiving someone, yeah. and um, someone asks you, "Oh, have you forgiven this person?" You say yes, and then yeah. that's giving birth to lies, and then give birth to someone else. Yeah. But <clears throat> in that, for me, there's three, there's three things, mm-hmm. and you've already touched base on two of them. Yeah. One is hundred percent. If you don't forgive, don't think about heaven, because yeah. you can be the best Christian. But you have already committed sin. If you can't forgive someone, God is not going to forgive yeah. you. Yeah. So, and the second one is exactly uh, is for your own, mm-hmm. your own health, your own everything. Like yeah. basically, if you don't forgive that person, you'll be going through this agony, pain, yeah. or all this stuff you'll be going through just because you don't want to forgive. Yeah. Nothing to do with the person. Just because you don't want to forgive, mm-hmm. you're going to be going through all of this yeah. stuff. And then the third thing is. It's the other side. Mm-hmm. See, 
for me, it's like when you and that person were friends, when they didn't commit that, whatever they did to you, yeah. once they didn't do that, you guys had the best of times mm -hmm. and everything. The benefit of forgiving is all that times come back. Yeah. You get to hang with your friend, you get to see all that nice things, get all that nice time you used to have. Yeah. But because you have that hatred and non-forgiveness, you don't want to hang with them, you don't want to see them, so you lose out all of that. Yeah. So forgiveness brings all of that back yeah. as well. Yeah. So and there yeah. might be those that your friend might have, but because you don't want to forgive them, those those are close as well because yeah. of that. So forgiveness yeah. brings a lot of things, yeah. a lot of beautiful things, but not forgiving someone brings nothing yeah. but pain to you. That's so, so good. That's actually interesting to put I added that. Yeah. Doors, doors are literally shut and yeah. doors don't open when yeah. you have that unforgiveness. Yeah. Things don't happen for you when you're harboring those feelings of unforgiveness. So it's like letting go, mm. you know, things start to happen. And mm. I feel like one thing we have to understand as well, when we, when we decide to follow God's word against the grain, against everything else that's going on, mm. God will reward us for it. Mm. So it's very important that we decide, no, I'm going to follow this. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm upset and I'm hurt and I, I can't, I don't really want to do it. Mm. And it's not fair, God, but I'm still going to do it because your word says we have to do it, mm. you know. And then in doing that, you see, like when I was saying, the doors will open, mm. the lessons will come, the mm. understanding, the everything that you, you, you know, be, you know, in that state, in that state of unforgiveness and just mm. anger all the time, you'll be like, look, we're over it, we're done, mm. we're moving on to better things. Yeah, so and before we end, I want to leave you with this. Mm. What does forgiveness bring you? Mm. And what does unforgiveness bring you? Mm. Those two things. If you can answer it, it will make it easier for you to forgive. Yeah. Alright? If unforgiveness can bring you better things, then go ahead and keep it. Okay. But if forgiveness, if you forgive someone, what does it bring you? If it brings you better things, then you have to learn to forgive. Yeah, that's good. That's All right, guys. Perfect way to end it. That was it for today. Yeah. And make sure you subscribe, follow the page, and don't forget as well how to have with Harry on yeah. Instagram. That's awesome as well, guys. Yeah. It was a beautiful one. Hopefully, yeah, you guys learned something from it. Mm -hmm. This is our perspective at yeah. the end of the day. This is what we have learned that kind of works better when we're trying to forgive or yeah. what we see for forgiveness. Yeah. So 100%, we love you guys. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.